Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is episode two of my Citadel building series. This is the Citadel from season three of the Clone Wars and I'm going to be building it over the course of the next few months in video installments every couple of weeks. The past few weeks I've been spending a lot of time working on things behind the scenes as well as just waiting for parts to come in and most of those parts did finally come in so I was able to finally start making some progress working on the lava and before we get started make sure to leave a like and subscribe. So with all that said let's get right into it. To start off the video I want to talk about some changes I made to the layout of the mod. I had my friend Jack or Hydrave over and we talked about my original plan and came up with a better one. As you can see, I drew up some new concepts and changed the layout quite a bit. The first thing you'll probably notice is the extraction zone isn't visible from the front, and I also made the rock face go the entire stretch of the build. I did this because it better captures the canyon feeling, and also gives me more separation between the climbing section and the citadel tower, and this will basically just make the tower seem larger because it's not so close to the minifigures. And on the left side, you can kind of see a cutaway view of some of the hallways or rooms on the inside of the base. And above that, you can see the tail fin of the shuttle kind of peeking out from the landing pad area. And over on the back side, you can see the extraction zone is now its own section with a cliff face behind it. And the base interior continues on to the back. The layout for the landing pad and the round buildings stayed the same. I just shifted them to the corner to make room for the extraction zone. And overall, I think this new plan will work out a lot better and flow much more seamlessly from section to section. So as you can see, I changed the layout of the bricks to kind of show the new plans for the mock. Starting over on the right is where the ascent is going to be. This is the climb where they have the electro mines that they have to kind of dodge. So it's going to start over here, and then that is going to be the entrance with the ray shield and stuff. And then you come over to the left, this whole front section is all lava, and then over here is going to be the big citadel tower that's going to kind of go all the way up here. And then over on to the left side right here is going to be the start of the interior, and that's going to carry on all the way to the back. And then above that is going to be where the landing pad is with the shuttle and the cargo crates and everything like that. And then to end is going to be way in this back corner with the extraction zone. So this is going to be in its own separated area and I think this layout is going to work out a lot better. So I've just gotten in this package. This is from Light My Bricks. This is going to have a bunch of flickering effects for the lava to make it glow as well as some lightsabers and battery boxes. So here you can see everything out of the package. The reason I bought the flicker effects boards is so that I can have some flashing kind of shimmering glowing lights underneath the trans yellow pieces, which is going to make the lava look more organic. And then I picked up a few additional lightsabers just so that everybody in the mock can have a light up lightsaber. This next package is actually from my friend Firebird Bricks, and it's about 2000 of the trans yellow one by two bricks. He knew that I was planning to use these bricks for the lava in my Citadel mock, and he had a bunch of them left over from his Christophsis. So he messaged me and we were able to work something out and I'm super excited to have these in. This next package is the larger of two Bricklink orders that I made for the Citadel. So this has the vast majority of the parts that I bought for the landscape and stuff like that. So as you can see, the majority of the pieces are in that dark purple color. And then I got a few accent pieces with the medium lavender. So my plan is to use dark bluish gray as the majority color and then I'll go in and add in some of the purple for just pops of color here and there. And when you look at Lola Sayu from the air, you see mostly purple with a huge chunk of the planet being that trans yellow kind of color. So I did pick up some tiles here for the border as well as some bright light orange plates, which I wanna kind of mix in. So I'll see how that works. And then I got a hair piece that I wanna try and use for Captain Tarkin here. And then obviously here are some gear pieces. These I'm gonna try and use for the motor functions of the mock. So pretty happy to have this in and this is definitely going to help me out with bringing some more color and vibrance to this mock. And finally, the last Bricklink quarter has arrived. This is going to be mainly the trans yellow plates for the lava. As you can see, the majority was the trans yellow plates, but I did get a couple other medium lavender and dark purple pieces. 
that will just help me make the patches look a little bit more natural. And then also I got some of these Sith Lightning pieces. These I got because I figured if I'm going to make the Electro Mines area, this is probably the best and easiest way. So picked up a few of those and then probably honestly one of my favorite parts of this order is the Security Battle Droid. This is the first security battle droid that I've added to my collection, and this is the one with the printed torso as well as the printed head. So this is kind of the best one. This is everything that I got for the mock so far this week. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff to use and start working on the lava. My plan for the lava was to use the snot technique to stack trans yellow one x two bricks and add small patches of different colored yellow plates to look more natural and to break up the sea of trans yellow. I started by using yellow plates underneath it all, but I eventually realized that I didn't have enough for the whole stretch, so I had to switch most of them out for white, which really makes the yellow pop. As I went along, I realized that I was running low on the different shades of yellow that I was using to make the color patches and the one by lengths of yellow plates going around the border. So here is what the lava is looking like, and unfortunately I did run out of some of the detail pieces that I was using, and pretty much all of my yellow plates have been used at this point. I did, as you can see, make the switch to using some white plates and tiles underneath the lava, which I actually really like because there's a couple different kind of colors underneath the trans yellow bricks. This is pretty much exactly the look that I was going for. However, I just need to get some more parts to finish it. I was really hoping to be able to just knock this out today, but unfortunately I wasn't really anticipating the different kinds of pieces that I would need and the amount of pieces that it would actually take up. But I am really happy with the way that it looks so far. So here you can see what it looks like with the lights on and there are only a few bulbs here flashing so it's not as illuminated as I was hoping it would be but I still like the way that it looks and I think the flashing kind of flickering look definitely helps rather than it just being static. So I am pretty pleased with that. I would like to get a few more bulbs in there, maybe some extra patches of color so that it would just kind of look a little bit more organic and vibrant but I am pretty pleased with how this looks. And now taking a look at the light up lightsabers. These don't show the color quite as well on camera as it does in person, but if I drop down the exposure, then you can kind of see the blue and green. So it, they do look really, really nice in person. It's just a little bit of a struggle to capture it through the camera lens. One thing I will note is that you can kind of see behind here the length of the wires for the lightsaber that Anakin and Evan Peel have. This is more what I would like because it gives me way more freedom with where I can place the minifigures. The lightsabers for Ahsoka and Obi-Wan are very, very short. This was a mistake that I made when I ordered these from Light My Bricks. I picked up the 5 centimeter cables instead of the 20 or 30 cables that came with the first two that I bought. And so this is something that I'm probably going to try to remedy. And hopefully if I can get that sponsorship sorted out with Light My Bricks, then they'll be able to send over a few extra ones for me to kind of mess around with. So this is what those light up lightsabers look like. And they do definitely add in a nice amount of color. And especially around the surroundings, you can kind of see the reflection of the lightsabers showing on this gray base plate, as well as obviously on their faces. So definitely glad to have these in as well. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up episode two of building the Citadel. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get as much progress done as I was hoping to. I did get some stuff done behind the scenes, but you guys weren't really able to see any of that. I mean, you can kind of see behind me, I did get this shelf set up, but as far as the mock goes, really the only thing I was able to get into was starting on the lava, and then I ran out of parts pretty fast with that. But I do have all of the purple pieces now for the rest of the mock. So I'm gonna start working on hopefully the Citadel Tower, maybe work on some of the rocks and stuff like that, or the inside of the base. So there's plenty of stuff that I can do from here on out. This was kind of just the waiting period of just waiting for parts to come in and just kind of getting my footing and starting out on the mock. So now that I've been able to start, I have a jumping off point from here and hopefully the next video will have way more stuff to look at. So thank you guys so much for watching and if you made it this far, make sure to leave a like, it really helps out the channel and subscribe if you guys are interested in following the process of the Citadel being built. But that's all for me, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video, goodbye.